Hey, Jordy Collada and Hunt Palmer here for BayouBengalsInsider.com, Louisiana Daily, and 104.5 ESPN.com. Hunt, LSU 2-0 on the season, put up 41 points in week one and week two. They've played a lot of youngsters in the first two weeks. Who stood out for you? Well, obviously Jalen Mills is the guy that comes to mind first. He wins freshman of the week in the league for his play in the ballgame. Had seven tackles and interception. LSU seems to keep finding these guys a little bit off the beaten path on the recruiting trail. Morris, Claiborne, Tyron, Matthew, and it looks like Mills may be that next guy. He's rangy. He's physical. I like his attitude on the field and he's playing at a, a big time level right now and that's a reason why he passed Jalen Collins in fall camp he's a really special player and he's showing that offensively last week Alfred Blue and Kenny Hilliard were really the workhorses in week one this week we saw Spencer Ware get into the act another true freshman that we thought coming into the season would have an impact at that running back spot was Jeremy Hill it's been a lot of guys a lot of names early on who stood out for you and how do you like the rotation at the running back spot I love the rotation of the running spot LSU had four guys really carry the mail it started with Alfred Blue obviously softening up that defense and he's shown that he's a home run threat had a 21 yard touchdown in the first quarter of the game I like Spencer Ware running against a tired defense. Last year he was the guy that would start and really beat the defense up and Ford and Blue were guys that really hit the home runs late in the game. When Spencer Ware gets in there against a the defense that's tired of tackling people, that's a serious problem for defenses because he's so physical. He told us after the game that he had some serious anger he wanted to let out. He did that, but he did say that he's got some more left. I expect a big year from him. Now on the outside, we've seen Kadron Boone catch two touchdown passes in consecutive weeks. We've seen all types of guys get in the action. Newcomers like Jarvis Landry, Odell, Be uh, Odell Beckham, uncharacteristic put the ball on the turf a couple of times this week. Uh, that rotation at the wide receiver spot, there was a guy in Terrence McGee who really raised some eyebrows in the offseason. Uh, the rotation there, how do you see it in the first two weeks? I like this receiving core. It's not, last year it was Reuben Randall and everybody else. Yeah. This year, LSU is a little bit more versatile. They had Jarvis Landry with an eight-catch day in the first game. James Wright really helped out in, the, in week two. Landry, not so much, only one catch. There's a lot of different weapons on this team they can use. They've got some guys that can stretch the field vertically. They use that bubble screen. And people were talking about the bubble screen and being disappointed with it in the first week that it kept coming and coming. Well, then you saw LSU work off that bubble screen with a couple of fake bubble screens and throws deep down the field of James Wright. It shows that this staff is always tinkering, always looking for ways to improve the offense. And I like the balance and the depth in the receiving core this year. Defensively, uh, Hunt, early on for me, the story has been Lamine Barrow at linebacker really stepping up and, and really being a player there at that second level. And, of course, the freshman in the defensive backfield. What stood out for you for the first two weeks on Chavis's unit? We talked about the linebackers on the on the outside, all those young guys, the, the guys that we thought would come in, Lorenzo Phillips, Lamar Lewis, all the guys like that that could come in and, and play well, hold the phone there because Lamine Barrow and Luke Muncy have locked down those outside spots. They're playing really, really well. If LSU can play well, well at the linebacking spot with the talent they've got up front and the guys they've got in the secondary, this defense becomes without a weakness. And so if they, if those two juniors on the outside continue to play like this and the, the freshmen develop like we think they will, the linebacking core all of a sudden becomes a strength for LSU in the productivity department. Two, both games, LSU has had a linebacker lead the team in tackles. That only happened three times in 14 games last year. If the linebackers keep playing like this, LSU's defense really doesn't have a chink. Idaho next up on the schedule for this team. What's the message around this building this week? Stay healthy. Is that a, is that a message? I mean, LSU needs to just stay, come in, keep their guys fresh, keep their guys healthy, get some young guys into the ball game, and get out of there with a win. Idaho's 0-2. They pose no threat to this LSU team. Get ready for Auburn with a healthy team loaded after this week. Hunt Palmer, senior writer, BayouBengalsInsider.com. Jordy Collada reporting for Louisiana Daily, 1045ESPN.com, and BayouBengalsInsider.com.